Welcome back to Friday Frenzy, the second oldest rivalry in the state of Tennessee in the spotlight Thursday. Loudoun hosting Lenore City, the Battle of the Bridge, Mark. That's a great rivalry here. Last night, Loudoun inducting its inaugural Football Hall of Fame class, including VFL Bruce Wilkerson. Great honor. I'm, I mean, growing up in the big city of Philadelphia, Tennessee, and, and, and coming here to Loudoun, playing with all my friends, it's been a blessing, and uh, sports has been good to me. Uh, I was just blessed to grow up in a town full of boys, and uh, particularly uh, when we played pickup sports, I always had to go against Gary Brown, who, who was older than I was, but but I was still a big kid, so and I, I, I think that helped my athletic ability. Wilkerson, a 10-year NFL career winning Super Bowl 31 as the Packers starting tackle. The rivalry, though, spanning 93 years, that Battle of the Bridge. The teams first played in 1923 last night. Loudon. 28 to 7 winners over Lenore City. You know, we, we talked about Pal earlier in the show. I started there before bouncing over to Halls tonight. The Red Devils, they didn't wait for me. Up 31 at halftime on Carnes. Avery Robertson taking advantage of the bad snap. Halls going for the shutout at this point. You could see it from that coaching staff. Scott Cummings wants that goose egg. You saw the ball boys there. I promised them they'd get on Friday frenzy. I promise, granted, Caden Cummins says, hey, let's get Seth Simpson in the end zone as well. Halls blows out the Beavers 45 to nothing. Woo. When all Eagles showdown gives it Seymour, Gibbs striking first. Quarterback Troy Davis fakes the toss, makes a couple guys miss, and is gone down the sideline for the score. Gibbs, Eagles up 7 0 after Gibbs blocks a Seymour punt. That's going to set them up inside the Seymour five yard line. Here we go, quite Tavius Barnes taking the end around, around the outside, around the outside. Gibbs winners 41 23. Carter Plant hosts the Campbell County tonight. Hornets wearing orange ribbons in support of Jack Price. Opening drive, Hunter White's pass is tipped. Jaquan Daniels comes down with it, returns it to the 35 yard line. Nick Davidson. Well, you know what he's going to do from there. Straight cash, homie, in from the one. Hornets up 7-0. First in 10, C.J. Allen doesn't need any extra downs. Finds the pay dirt to even the game. Campbell County wins 24-21. to All right, Swift switching gears now. and we K. and Clinton. Talking C.A.K. and Clinton. The Dragons down 7. It'll be Jacob Brock under center. Hitting Evan Winchester for the Dragons' first score of the season. And, hey, Clinton, pumped. Ryan Dagus, though, he says, hey, let's see what we got coming up after this. Grant Sturkey breaking tackles for the touchdown. Cha-cha, real smooth. Okay. In the second, tied at seven. Dagey continuing to do work. C.A.K. getting the job done tonight. You look at your final score in this one, 24-14, to 14, Warriors. In Kingsport, it's the Dobbins Bennett Indians hosting the Oak Ridge Wildcats. Early in the third quarter, it's Mitchell Gibbons dropping back. Oh, not going to see anything. Okay. He just takes off, scampering up the middle for a big gain. However, the Wildcats, they can't turn it into points as the drive stalls. Next possession for Dobbins Bennett. Zane Whitson faking the handoff, and he will do it all by himself. He strolls in for six. Let's look at this score. Could Oak Ridge get their first win of the season? Obviously looking for it at DB. Looking at your final score tonight. And it is Oak Ridge falling 41 to 6 on the road. Harden Valley at Cleveland. Cleveland up 21 13 in the third quarter. Harden Valley looking to rally, but quarterback Jake Smith is picked off by the Blue Raiders. Aaron Jones. That's pick six. 28 13 Cleveland. 31 13 Blue Raiders. They lead when Harden Valley answers on fourth and goal. Jake Smith finding Charles Robertson for the touchdown. Two point conversion. No good. They can't get it done, though. 31 19 Raiders. All right, and you're looking at Webb right now getting on the road at McCauley. A tough night there, and it was a full show. Week two of the high school football season. We're back after this. Stay with us.